Welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again, I am back with an interesting question today. So as we can see in the figure, we have two circles. The center of bigger circle is at point P, while this uh, smaller circle has a center at point Q. BA is a tangent to this smaller circle and its measure is 16 units. We have to find the area of this shaded region. So first of all, let us join these two points b and p and name this as capital r so capital r represents the radius of this bigger circle likewise let us drop a perpendicular here let us name this point as point m this angle will be 90 degree and qm will be equal to small r let us assume the radius of this smaller circle be small r now the question comes why this will be 90 degree so for that we have a theorem that if we have a circle this is the center point of the circle and if this is any tangent this is the point of contact so if you join the point of contact and the center of the circle this angle formed is 90 degree so here this will be 90 degree now after assuming the radius of bigger circle as capital r and radius of smaller circle as small r, the area of shaded region can be written as pi times capital R square, area of bigger circle minus pi times small r square, area of this smaller circle. We can take pi common here. So this will be capital R square minus small r square. Pi is constant and if we are able to find this value of capital R square minus small r square, we can easily compute the area. Now let us do one construction here. From point P, let us draw a line segment like this, which is perpendicular to AB. So by construction, this angle is 90 degree. We have another theorem that if we have a circle and this is the diameter of the circle, if this diameter of the circle is perpendicular to any chord, say for example this, in our case AB is the chord, P is the center of the circle and by construction we are drawing this as perpendicular. So the theorem says that this length will be equal to this length. That means it will be perpendicular bisector. So if this point is N, then BN length will be equal to NA. So if the total length is 16, this will be 8 units and this will also be 8 units. Now if we see by symmetry, the length of Pn will be equal to this small r, radius of this smaller circle. So let us write it here as small r. Now focus on this triangle PBN. Let me draw it outside. So this point is point P. This is N, here we have perpendicular, this is B. So PB length is capital R, PN is small r and BN we just found as 8. We will apply Pythagoras theorem in this triangle PBN. So we will get capital R square equals small r square plus 8 square. We will subtract small r square from both sides. So this will be capital R square minus small r square equals 64. After getting this value, we can substitute it here. So the area of this shaded region will be equal to pi times 64 or 64 pi square units. If you want, you can substitute the value of pi as 3.14 and get the answer in decimals. But I am leaving it till here. So the area of this shaded region is 64 pi square units. If you want to get more such videos, do subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.